Narai here, gonna do a reading for you guys. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and South Node. Please know to take what fits and leave the rest, as this is not a personal reading. Mm. Messages and guidance for Taurus, please and thank you. Messages and guidance for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising. Venus, North, and South Node. Okay. First card is the Ten of Cups. Six of Cups. Oh, excuse me. Ten of Pentacles. Six in Cups. Queen of Cups. Let's see what's next. This might be a rather fast reading. Ooh! I see this one right here. Oh my gosh. All right. So we have the Six of Wands. We have, so the Ten of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Queen of Cups, Six of Wands. Let's go over those first. And then, <coughs> excuse me, excuse me. And then we have the Knight of Cups, the Death card, Two of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups. So with the Ten of Pentacles, I love that card because that is a card that is all about you having long-term security, leave, uh, building a legacy, leaving a legacy for your kids, your family. Um, the Ten of Pentacles is a card where there's enough money to do what needs to be done, but as a family, not as an individual. This is retirement. This is a person having the financial abundance to do whatever they want. Having a college fund for their kids. Um, just having everything needed for the future in regards to finances and stability. It's long-term security is what it is. I have the Six of Cups. This has to do with times that were innocent, reminiscing, thinking about the good times, maybe something or someone from your childhood. For some, it's a, a reconciliation card. But I have the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is a very intuitive person male or female, it doesn't matter, uh, that has a very kind and loving spirit. It's a very caring person. It is a person that is honest and open in regards to their feelings. I feel like this might be you guys I feel like this is what you want. I feel like this is something that you want or this is something that somebody may have wanted with you and there may be a lot of reminiscing about this and somebody's really in their feelings. And it could be that somebody doesn't realize how much feelings they have for you or they're not letting you know how much feelings they have for you. Um, I see you guys in the spotlight here with the Six of Wands. I'm saying the spotlight. You guys are being recognized. You, you may actually be in the spotlight. Feeling confident, being recognized, being applauded, being praised for something good that you've done. Uh, then I have the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is somebody 
who is in the energy of wanting to be romantic. Now it's it's not a king of cups. It is a knight of cups. The king of cups, uh, cups is a compassionate, supportive person. The knight of cups may not be there just yet. It could be a slightly younger person that's not there just yet. But it is a person that is wanting to be romantic. Do some romantic gestures. It could be somebody just... It could possibly be someone that's not that experienced or... Mm, I don't know why I just thought a renaissance man. A renaissance man. But I feel like this is somebody that's ready to woo someone. Then I have the death card, the rebirth. There may have been some sort of rebirth. Now, when people see the death, they get a little intimidated, like, oh my God, it's death. No, it is a rebirth. One and three is four, which is stability in tarot. I have the two of pentacles. The two of pentacles has to do with you guys prioritizing Deciding what is important and finding some sort of balance. It makes me think that some of you guys may be going through a dark night of the soul and you're having issues like balancing yourself. Some of you may be having issues balancing your desires and balancing your, your self-control possibly or... It could be passion and I feel like balancing temptation. Maybe this person is temptation for you. But I have wish fulfillment with the nine of cup the nine of, the nine of cups. I can't even get it out. This is all of your dreams coming true. This is everything you want in order to make you happy. Um Wow. The Two of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups. Mm. Yes, I feel like there's some sort of balance between what you want and what you need. What the universe wants you to have, what the universe is bringing towards you, and what you want. I feel like there's a sense of possibly changing your priorities. Boom. Oh my gosh, look at that. I have the Ten of Cups and the Ace of Cups. <laughs> the Ten of Cups, this is a happy family. This is a happy family. And I think what this reading is saying is that there is going to be balance. Some of you just may have to go through an awakening or some of you may have to let something go or an aspect of yourselves go. If you want a stable relationship in your life, if you don't have it, this is a stable relationship. These, are, these two are in harmony. I see this as a flute but they're in harmony. This is a happy home. This is a white picket fence. This is a happy kids, happy family, happy house, happy spouse. Um, this is the person you can have everything with, and this is the person you can have everything with. And then I have, um, the, here's what's funny. This is the Nine of Cups. This is the Ace of Cups. What is the Ace of Cups and Nine of Cups? Ten of Cups. This is you being totally happy with everything in your life. And loving yourself, knowing you're responsible for yourself. This is somebody wishing for you. 
and you coming into their life. This is you wishing for someone. This is you fully loving yourself and having the rest of those cups and meeting someone else that is on their self-love journey that loves themselves and knows they're responsible for their happiness. We have the Ten of Cups people and we have the Ten of Cups. Somebody's coming for you guys. I don't know who and I don't know when, but there is love coming for you. I will just say have your boundaries, but be sure that you respect the other person's boundaries too. I know sometimes people want to put all their boundaries out there and all their rules, but they don't want to adhere to other people's or consider other people's. Don't be like that, Taurus. Be mindful of other people's boundaries too. Well, that's what I have for you. Congratulations. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I love you guys. I will say that this is self-love, but this is also an offer of love, okay? A new emotional beginning, and it could even be a friendship. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.